Hey guys, what's up? We are gonna show you a little inside sneak peek at my closet and some of my favorite pieces here. So I tried to pick things that I genuinely love and um, gravitate towards, but I wanted to choose a few interesting pieces as well so that it's not just like my favorite black t-shirt. So let's get into it. My whole closet's organized by color, so um, we start with the lighter colors and move into dark, and then this side is mainly layering pieces and jackets, and then I have a shoe wall and handbags. So I tried to pick a mix of all of the different categories so you guys could see kind of a, I guess, wide variety of things that I wear. Um, and love. So, first of all, I thought I would start with a shoe because what girl doesn't love shoes? And everyone can fit into shoes, whether we're feeling bloated or, you know, had a burrito for lunch. These are from the brand uh, Mercer Edit. That's right. They are this amazing studded booty and they have a really thick heel. Um, it's a silver, which is kind of fun because it's not something I nor normally gravitate towards. I'm normally a um, gold fan, but I feel like this just ups any single outfit and they're actually surprisingly really comfortable for me to walk in. This girl's got a very high arch. Um, moving on with a statement piece, I pulled this awesome Zara basically like sheer cover-up um, I bought this when I was on vacation a couple of um, years ago and I wear it over all black so black jeans black tank top and then it has this like really crazy amazing sequence detailing over this it looks really cool at holiday too with a fur because because <laughs> I'm extra so I just think this is awesome I can't like ever get rid of it because I think it just adds like so much interest to your outfit so I love this it also has really high slits so it makes it easy to walk in um, keeping with the metallic theme, I wanted to pull some Royal and Reese because we all love and know, um, the brand if you're here watching this video. So these are pants we launched for our 70s collection called the Andy Metallic Pants. I do think we still have some of these in stock. They are a stretchy waistband, so it's basically like a flared legging. And it reminds me of LeMay. I don't actually own any LeMay, but I would like to soon. Um, I was talking about in an Instagram interview that me and Nikki just did on a live that Rachel Zoe literally wears like head-to-toe gold LeMay always. And I just think it looks amazing. So... I paired this with like a little black um, lace cami and a leather jacket for a show Phil played recently in Nashville and I just feel like it's a show stopping piece but it's not hard to wear so definitely um, something fun and different. Next up, this sweater. You probably have seen this in a really old vlog if you follow Royal and Reese. Um, I bought this at ASOS and look at this balloon sleeve. Can you guys even um, tell how big it is? It's This is a large. I definitely could have done a small. This is like the most oversized thing ever. It's so fabulous. I literally can't even handle how much I love this. Um, the colors are literally my favorite colors. I love hot orangey coral. I say that all the time on videos. It's just cozy. I love oversized. I think it looks so cool with black and white stripes to kind of pattern mix. I've worn it with a white t-shirt and cheetah boots. Um, yeah, I just love this. I think it's so fun. Then I pulled a staple because everybody needs a good leather jacket. This is the first designer piece I've ever bought ever. Um, this was my birthday, Christmas, and anniversary gift like five years ago. Um, if you guys don't know, Veda Leather is a really high quality leather company. Uh, Nordstrom carries them, Saks, I think Bergdorf's also does. It actually um, has a side set, but I always wear it open, and you can tell she has been very well loved. One thing that is so nice about this, obviously it's real leather, but what I loved is that it has stretchy inserts, so if you struggle with arms and not to feel constrictive, it's like the most comfortable jacket ever. And then you can actually wear it as a high cowl neck, which I think is so cool, and then you can wear it open or side zip. So there's so many ways to style this, and... This probably is the most worn piece of my wardrobe just because who doesn't need a great leather jacket? So that is my leather jacket. Moving on to another pair of shoes. Tess actually wore these in our photo shoot and I just got these. And 
I don't know. I think these are amazing. These are from Mark Fisher. They were on the Nordstrom anniversary sale this year. They're like, what I think is so cool about them is they're bright gold metallic, but they have a Western feel, which I think is super dope for Nashville. So it kind of has that cowboy boot feel. I have another pair of boots um, here actually that I call my Dolly Parton boots because they look really similar. This has basically the western cutout vibes that you would see like on a cowboy hat or cowboy boots so it reminds me a lot of that style and um i've had these for like four years maybe um so i invest in more expensive shoes usually not anything designer but like more moderate priced um designers so that i can keep um good quality shoes and have them for a long time so i don't really rotate my shoes that often because i tend to buy things that like i said is real leather and things i can wear for longer periods of time okay moving to a very special handbag and you guys have all seen this so this won't come as a surprise um we were just talking about how to pronounce this so i don't actually know exactly how to pronounce it i thought it was antagona or antagonia um this is givenchy it is the largest size of the antagona that they carry and then i think it only comes in a silver zip it also has a crossbody which makes it so much nicer to carry especially when i'm in the airport um, i travel with this bag a lot and it has so much room and the handles are so nice right here and they fit see <laughs> They fit over your arm so nicely. So this, I feel like also um, is a textured leather. So it gives you the ability to, I guess not be rough with it, but not have to worry because it doesn't scratch. So I feel like this is something that I will have for forever. And I feel like it looks good with every outfit. There's something about it that feels very universal um, with everything. Okay, couple more things here. What else? So I also pulled another favorite Royal and Reese piece. I pulled a couple of things that have sentimental value as well as the fact that they're just cool fashion pieces. This jacket was a Royal and Reese piece I wore for our ribbon cutting ceremony and it was called the Janet. It was the striped cardigan. Um, this sold out really fast and I tried to get it again, but the vendor sold out of the fabric and we weren't able to restock it which was so sad um, but it also makes it kind of special because only a few people got it I don't know if I'll ever get rid of this a I like the style B I wear it with all black so why would I and C that was like such a huge monumental moment in our business that just feels really special to keep this kind of as a memento of that moment of like the community recognizing us as a real business in um, the central Illinois area so I just really love this and I feel like I'll keep it forever um, then I got, this is another kind of sentimental piece, but also I really love this. I wore this to our third birthday party that we had this year. This is another ASOS piece. It is an asymmetrical, um, palm leaf tree skirt. And I thought it was so cool. It's actually too big for me now. I've, um, once I've been on keto, it was a little big when I bought it because I didn't, I didn't want to order it online and then have it come and not be the right size for the party. But I don't think I can wear it unless I get it taken in, but I'd be so sad not to wear it again because it's such a cool piece. And if you know my house or know me at all, you know, I love palm leaf things and, um, it's pretty easy to come by in like my home interiors as well as fashion. So I just think this is super cool. And again, because it was on our third birthday party that we celebrated our business, it just reminds me of how cool that day was. And then I pulled two more sentimental pieces and then I'll get to this really crazy piece. These are two dresses. They look so ratty. This is the dress I got engaged in, actually. And this is literally from Target um, or Nordstrom, one of the two, like in the junior section. Um... I was like deathly ill when we got engaged and I wore this with blackout tights with little Tory Burch Riva flats and this free people leather jacket and um yeah and I remember wearing I wore this dress so much and I feel like it would still fit as a large but I just don't ever wear it anymore because it just reminds me it's just like a sentimental thing um but it's still cute I think I still would wear it it's not like I don't like the style of it and then we went and saw a show in this um we went to the Amy Grant and Vince Gill Christmas program <laughs> for the night we got engaged and then Phil 
propose in front of the crisp the um the capital nashville capitals building christmas tree which he knows i love christmas so we proposed around christmas and in a spot that's a historical spot that will never go away so we can always visit it which i thought was a very good idea because sometimes people get like engaged in buildings or restaurants that get torn down and I was like, that is so thoughtful. And then this is the dress I wore on my rehearsal dinner night. So um, I love retro pieces. This looks exactly like what I wore to prom, except the piece I had for prom um, was floral. And it's by Laundry by Shelly Seagal, which is like literally this. I got my prom dress for high school from uh, Shelly Seagal as well. And it was this exact same style. I said this on our morning live video today, but I love dresses with long sleeve. There's something about it to me that seems really sexy and modern and just, I just love the mod fit. I had a heck of a time finding something white or cream in September. It was impossible or August, I guess, um, around the time I got married. And then not to make the party stop, but my last piece I chose to show you guys is this insane jacket I just bought from the Nordstrom sale. Um, I actually don't know how to pronounce this brand. A Les Felice? I don't know, it seems French. Um, I don't know, this is ridiculous and I just love it. I think fur is so fun, it's faux, obviously. I don't think I wear real fur. Um, I don't know if I've made a life decision on that yet, but I'm pretty sure I won't. Um, but it's lined with French terry, which makes it so cozy and nice and just feels like a t-shirt on the inside. And then it's just big, fabulous, and looks like a big dinosaur. So I think it's gonna be awesome. And you guys all know I love celestial things, so anything with stars on it, I'm incredibly drawn to and I just think it's so fun and different. So those are all the pieces I um, decided to show you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this mini closet tour with my top five or top eight pieces. I kind of broke the rules here a little bit. If you like this video, we can do more fashion and closet tours. So make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can never miss a video um, again. So we love you guys and thanks for watching. Bye.